Studio by Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Here's our verdict. We are past the point of considering foldable phones as just proof of concept hollow devices. While durability concerns remain with regular reports of bubbles forming under the display protector along the crease, solid warranty coverage from Samsung has those reasonable fears taken care of. Still, a few of our beeps with the previous models haven't really been addressed for yet another year. The gapping folded screen is one of those. Then there's the charging. While indeed improved this year, the charging speed is still nowhere close to higher industry leading implementations stand. And lastly, the camera. Yes, the arguments stand that the Ford's priorities are elsewhere, but if Huawei can make a proper quad cam Mate X2 with a big sensor primary 10x zoom and autofocusing ultra wide, maybe so too can Samsung. Don't get us wrong, while hardly groundbreaking, the cameras are an improvement to last year's setup. Plus, thanks to the form factor and a well thought out interface, the Fold is arguably the best camera phone for selfies. Perhaps that clashes a bit with stereotypical productivity drive and target audience, but we won't judge, and why couldn't there be several target audiences? Mind you, those who are after productivity are unlikely to find a superior package than the Fold 4 in smartphone or smartphone-like form, that is, the combination of a new Android for large screens, Samsung's proprietary One UI add-ons and the stylus support is simply unrivaled. The superiority of Samsung displays is manifested on the Galaxy Fold 4 too with the internal display not only being flexible but also as bright as the company's conventional ones, and way brighter than other foldable panels. It's apparently plenty efficient too since we got improved battery life on this year's model and the competition is behind in this metric as well. To wrap this up, let's say the Fold 4 is not perfect, but it's not like there are readily available alternatives everywhere and the ones you could come up with have their own sets of issues. The Fold 3 was already the most well-rounded and feature-packed foldable on the market then and the Fold 4 can easily claim that title now. It comes with the same nominal price tag as last year's model at launch and with the generational improvements accounted for and an economy that's seen better days, that's no small feat. Even at MSRP, the Galaxy Fold 4 can make sense to the right buyer too. The sensible thing would be to wait a month or two for the inevitable price drop.